All right, welcome. This is the weekend video. This is Xander here from bullwaves.org. And if you like what I do, if you like nightly Elliott Wave analysis, check out check out bullwaves.org. Link in the description in the description. And um, join up, become a member, and you'll have uh, nightly Elliott Wave charts from me after the market close in uh, New York. Okay, let's get on to um, the charts. All right. Here is, are we working? Let's just check. Yes, we are. Okay. Here is the uh, four hour chart for Euro dollar. I'm going to, as usual, go through the the FX markets first and then head into the uh, trickier, <laughs> uh, more, let's say, consequential markets. Even though there's nothing wrong, you know, the FX markets is the biggest markets in the world. So, you know, don't, don't, don't forget about it. Okay. Here we are. Euro dollar four hour. This is the count that I was, have been working with for a while. Um, a bullish signal off the low. We had a one two um, running flat correction here. It was actually a complex running flat, which is you know caused its own problems. But anyway, um, it looks like we have confirmation, at least in the short term, of this pattern um, right now, or after this week's action. Um, I was looking for an extension higher in a third wave, and this is what we have this week. So we broke above the previous fourth wave high, which was kind of marking the, let's say, how would you say, um, the initial kind of shoulder or the initial, let's say, resistance to this rally, because that was a, a that was also a, a spike low in wave one and a spike high in wave four. So you call that a pivot low, pivot high. It was marking a a pretty important level it seemed on the chart um right now we seem to have some, some uh, consolidation within wave three here so i'll get into the early chart and show you what i'm thinking here this is the chart i i put up last night and we were caught we were looking for a continued consolidation around that you know 10350 level uh, around that central what is that 10360 um and we have that so far so the, the triangle is looking good We'll have to see if we get a bounce out of that. I would suggest if we break above that wave D high, so let's say if we break above 104 again, I would probably suggest we'll get a run into about 106, um, complete wave three, uh, and that would be five waves up done in wave three. So we have one, two, three, triangle fourth, and a fifth wave up, and then we'd probably look for a correction lower again next week in wave four, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. So for the moment, it looks like a possible triangle developing um watch for a break 104 here is the count in cable um i think we're close to a, a we're close to done here in wave a and we'll probably correct lower in wave b beginning next week but overall i'm looking for three waves up in wave two so far so good let's get into the hourly count here you can see i'm tracking the final leg up in wave a so this will complete wave c of a and five waves up in wave um, you can see one, two, a rally in wave three, simple correction wave four, and it looks like we're going to head higher in wave five. Minimum target would be about would be for a break of 120 again, um, possibly up to about 122. Maybe uh, I'm marking the 100% extension of wave of wave A. So wave C and wave A will reach equality at 123.40. So we'll see whether 123.40 will be the final um, top tick of this rally. But a minimum target would be a, a break of 120, uh, 120 30. Um, so that'll complete five waves up in wave C and we'll look for a reversal lower in Q, um, sorry, wave C of A. And then we'll look for a reversal lower back down into wave B uh, again for the following few weeks. Uh, so far so good, we're almost there in wave A. Uh, let's get into dollar yen. Uh, we had the, <laughs> Nice break lower this week. Um, I'm not quite sure. Are we there yet? Uh, let's get the hourly count and I'll see whether. Yeah, sorry. I have I've counted wave A as complete actually at this week's low. So we were looking for that extension lower, complete three waves down in wave A, and it looks like we got it. Um, that triangle count actually worked, and we have five waves down in wave A now. Or sorry, wave C of A. So we have overall. Wave A down, triangle B wave, and then five waves down in wave C. Pretty typical three wave correction um, to begin wave four. So I still think we probably have more, you know, there's more to come um, in this 
dollar yen correction. First of all, we're going to we're going to get a correction higher, so we get three waves higher to to form a, a significant lower high in wave B, and then we should break lower again in wave C. And I'm still looking at that kind of 130 level um, as a uh, target for wave four to complete. So here we are, the hourly count. Uh, looking for three waves up overall in wave B. We're not, you know, we're still kind of racking around down at the lows. We haven't had any, uh, you know, real, um, let's say, impulsive move higher to signal that uh, the final low for wave A is in. But we've had suggestions, let's say, that um, that, wave, that wave A is done. And that's why I'm looking higher. So initially, I'm looking for three waves up in wave A of B. So we've got wave A done, then I'm looking for A, B, C up in wave A, and then we look for A, B, C down in B, and then five waves up in wave C. So that'll, overall, that'll be a three, three, five flat correction. That's kind of standard. We'll see how it goes. For the moment, we've got three up in A, a possible three down in B, and I'm looking for that five wave um, rise in wave C. Initial target is about 142.40, but... I'm not quite sure whether we'll get there. At least for the moment, we have a, a possible higher low in wave one and two. Let's see if we get wave three up this week. Probably before, it should be before the end of this session. At the very, yeah, because it's, it's pretty early over in the US session. So should, this wave three of C rally should happen today. Um, if we extend into Monday, I think we'll probably be looking at something else going on here. Uh, for the moment, uh, I'm looking up in wave C of A. We'll see whether this holds or not. Overall, I mean, it's a B wave correction. It's going to be pretty tricky, I think, to track over the next um, week or so, and maybe even longer. Uh, but for the moment, um, that's where I'm looking. I'm looking for, looking at the idea that we have wave A done, and we're heading higher in wave B. Uh, okay, let's move on. This is the stock market. We have a, at least a break in the rally uh, this week. It's been pretty flat to down. There has yet to see a, or yet to see a, an impulsive uh, reversal. So at the moment, I'm still working with the idea that we're we're completing wave um, C of two. Uh, that'll be wave C here of wave two. The alternate count is actually wave C of two also, but at one degree higher. So wave C in green of wave two in blue. So um, either way, we're topping out a C wave of wave two. Uh, we will see whether we break that target high of wave A, 34,280. I'm not quite sure. You know, that's the summer rally we had. We have all the signals now that, you know, we have a similar rally. We have all the signals now that are in place that we are topping here. We've got divergence on the four hour count, which is pretty, you know, it's pretty extended at this point in time, but we've got no, let's say, reversal lower to, um, uh, let's say bolster the idea that um, that we're turning down into a third wave. I'm quite happy for this to top right now. I'm not sure whether it will or not, but uh, I'm quite happy for it to go now. I'll show you the hourly count now, and we'll see what you think. Let me know. You know what do you think of this? Um, here is the uh, five wave rally in wave C of two. There's the uh, 34 280 level. Of the previous wave A high, so that'd be wave A corresponding with wave C here, and we've got a five wave rally in wave C, and in internally within wave five of C, we've got a an ending diagonal possibility of an ending diagonal. That's what I've been working with since last night. Anyway, um, we had three waves down into yesterday's low, but right now we seem to have three waves up off yesterday's low. So, you know, um, it's the flip of a coin here. This market could go pretty quickly, um, given the kind of nature of the or the extended nature of that rally and you know overbearing kind of fawning bullishness that's been around lately completely um ignoring you know the the fact staring themselves in the face uh of oncoming uh <laughs> the you know that light in the tunnel it, it ain't it ain't your friendly it ain't your friend with a flashlight it's a bloody freight train coming towards us or a lack of a freight train, because <laughs> as I I tweeted earlier on, I'm getting into Twitter when Twitter's actually failing. I tweeted earlier on um, uh, about the collapsing you know, freight rates 
um, you know, Trans-Pacific freight rates. So, you know, freight train freight rates. Okay, here we have five wave pattern, ending diagonal possibility within wave five of C. Uh, we've got the overlap here between wave four and wave one. So, you know, that kind of uh, fits the bill. The internal pattern of wave three is, uh, it's it's a stretch to call that three waves. So, but for purposes of this, the end of a trend, I think we're probably, we're pretty much there if we're not there already. Let's see how today's trade goes. If we break lower pretty quickly today, uh, I'd be willing to kind of, uh, you know, roll the dice, calling a top for wave C of two. But we'll see how it goes. Pretty, f you know, we we've had a bounce off the lows, but uh, or off the open. Uh, the futures are higher, but it's, it's, it is only three waves up. So we'll see how the rest of the trade goes today. Um, okay, here is uh, four hour in gold. Uh, was looking for a top in wave one. And it turned down into wave two. I think this wave two could go steeper than than even we might like to admit. Uh, possibly down to the 200 MA there on the four-hour count. So that that suggests about 1680, maybe even lower. You know, we could we could see 1650 again uh, back into the pivot. Let's say the um, oscillation level within that triangle. So that that comes in about 1650. So that oscillation level was kind of the decision point for the the rally here. So it may be, may well be a kind of a draw within the market for wave two. We'll see how it goes, but um, I'm looking between 1680 and 1650 uh, for wave two. If that, you know, if we do confirm that wave A is is already, uh, or sorry, wave one is done. So let's get the hourly count. Uh, we've come down so far. I think that's five waves down in wave A of A. We corrected slightly higher overnight and early this morning, and then we've opened lower. So it looks like we're possibly heading into wave C of A. I'd look for wave three or three waves down and I'm looking at the previous the high of the the internal high of the previous triangle at wave A there. So that's about 1720. So I've been suggesting about 1730 for wave A to complete in the charts over the week. So A B C down in A, then A B C up in B, and then five waves down in wave C. That's probably what I'm leaning towards at the moment. We'll see how it goes. It could go quicker. You know the rally was quicker than I expected. Maybe the decline will be quicker. And I expect also, um, but for next week anyway, I would I would suggest looking lower into wave two. Um, there's that 1680 level. That's also the 62% retracement. So 1680 is looking quite good for um, wave an an initial target for wave um, for wave two in blue here. You can go the 78.6 retracement would bring us down to about 1650. So that would bring us into the oscillation level of the previous triangle here. So 1650 to 1680, that's kind of the band um, I'm looking for uh, for wave two to or to um, close out. So three waves down wave two, that's the idea next week. If we do get us, you know, a nice three wave pattern and then a bounce, that will be the long term um, signal to go to go long again. Uh, here we go. Let's move on. Crude oil crashing. Uh, I haven't ruled out this alternate count here yet um, for a larger wave two. Don't rule it out at all. Uh, we're moving quite quickly lower this morning, but that could be a capitulation move within wave um, B also. So here's the alternate count. Uh, stick this, you know, print it out. Stick it on your board in front of your computer. Uh, don't rule it out because we could be looking at a larger wave two pattern. So far, it's three waves down. I'm taking, let's say, the my more comfortable position as a bear, an eternal bear. Um, not an eternal bear. Internally, I'm going for eternal life. So, you know, eternally, I'll be an eternal bull when the eternal kingdom comes. But for the moment, for the markets, I am the perma bear <laughs> until the end comes. Okay, so we've got possible three waves up in wave two. Still looking at the possibility of a B wave unfolding here over the last month or so. Um, That'll be the alternate count. But for the moment, if that's wave two, then we're moving down impulsively into wave um, one of three. So that's the hourly count. Let's see how that wave one of wave three is going. Oh, let's scrunch it up here a bit. We've had an extension lower in wave three. That's what I've been looking for this week. Uh, five waves down in wave three, possibly coming to a close now. If this is wave three complete, then... I would suggest uh, we'll get a bounce in wave four. It looks like it might even be beginning today. Um, 
we'll see how it goes. Uh, a bouncing way forward would probably bring us up to, um, probably look towards that 81, 82 dollar level. Um, again, I wouldn't like to see a break of those pre these wave one internal lows here. It's going to be 83.50 and uh, wave one blue 84. I wouldn't want to see any higher than 83.50 in wave four, if this is wave four. So I've got wave one, two, three almost done, if not done. Um, I'd say next week look for a correction higher in wave four. We'll see what day it'll actually be begin. Um, so that's, I suppose that's how it works. That's the usefulness of the nightly charts, if you want that. So get into bullwaves.org. Um, these things change by the hour. So um, my weekly video is all well and good, but that doesn't give you the um, most up-to-date charts. So a bottom in wave three is probably coming pretty soon. Let's see if we get a correction higher in wave four, maybe beginning Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. Okay, S and P. Here is the S and P. It's actually looking a little better as a bearish um, decline off the high. We'll see how. Obviously, I kept. I don't know how many times have I said we'll see how it goes? Uh, I'm reluctant to kind of jump in just yet because we haven't got any confirmation lower yet. But we do have five waves down in wave one, and a good internal pattern here here for us suggesting a top in wave two. We've got weakness at 62% retracement level. Um, we've retraced back into the previous wave two uh, correction. You know, the dominoes are lining up, but we nobody's, you know, pulled the finger out and actually flicked them over just yet. Um, Mr. Market might do that. We'll see how it goes again. <laughs> uh, there's an alternate account here for wave two. Uh, I'll go for the main count first. So there's three up in A, th uh, A, B, C, D, E, triangle wave B. And a possible five waves spike to wave uh, to, to complete wave C of two. We close out the trend channel, the LA channel, and we've seen weakness off that 62% retracement. We'll see. Um, it hasn't developed impulsively lower just yet. <clears throat> I've kind of tentatively, you know, marked that as a possible wedge pattern uh, developing. Again, it's too early to say. You know, if we get like a complete today and Monday, maybe we break below the previous you know, internal B wave low here. Uh, I'm calling 37.40 for that B wave low. We break 37.40 with a nice impulse move lower. That will probably that will pretty much you know push it over the edge. Um, and we should have wave confirmation of wave one down in place at that point. So we'd look for five waves down. Uh, alternately, the alternate count is looking at three waves up in wave A. Uh, an expanded flat correction wave B, and that would bring us down to a B wave low at 36.93. And off that low, we've got, I, I can't count this with any certainty as a five wave pattern, but we could have wave one, two, three, four, and then wave five developing. Um, you know, even if the alternate count does allow for a fifth wave break here, so we go above 40, 40 again, complete five waves up in wave C, and then we look for a lower, a reversal lower into wave one next week anyway. So uh, I think wave two is screaming completion uh, or near completion, depending on which count you favor there. Um, and then we should turn lower into wave uh, one down uh, next week. Okay, let's move on to silver. I'm kind of, I have diverging counts in gold and silver at the moment. Um, I am a divergent. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I'm a contrarian at heart, even within the metals. Uh, so I do think we have three waves up done in wave four, even though we had that extended rally. But it seems to be reversing now. Um, you know, again we had, you know, we've got lower highs in the four account in in RSI. We're we're we are reversing in price. You know, after that divergence. And we're crossing into negative momentum now. So I think whatever buying was done or whatever buying was going to happen has happened. And I th I'm suggesting that we're, 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 we're possibly turning lower into a fifth wave decline, which could bring us down to, to close out this trend channel somewhere down around the $16 level. Mm, you know, mm, a break of 16 again. At, minimally, at, at a minimum, I'd be looking for a break of 17.56. So that'll be the previous wave three low. Uh, if we get if we get there, then and you're a physical buyer, I would start buying. You know, uh, after we break the wave three low, 
uh, most especially if we break the $16 level, I think then we're pretty much done here. Uh, and for the, you know, for those of you who think I'm I'm not a bull, you know, long term, I'm looking way up, doubling, tripling of prices over the next couple of years. So I am a bull. Why do I always have to, you know, try and legitimize my credentials here? But, you know, you know, I, I don't know. That's it's it's internally. That's the internal bull bear argument within me or the contrarian argument within me completely. OK, let's move on to the hourly count and I'll show you. Stop talking to yourself and let's start moving. Uh, was looking for a reversal lower today. We seem to have that. I'm not sure if this is three down. So far, it's only three down. I, I'm not sure if this is wave three done and this is wave four complete also. I would like to see a larger kind of, um, let's say, more impulsive break lower uh, in this initial decline off the wave four top. Five waves down. Let's throw a number out here. Let's say a break at twenty dollars again. If we if we break twenty dollars again and we can see a five a reasonable five wave pattern lower, that'll be that'll be wave one of five uh, done. So let's get in there and mark a wave one of five. So that'll be wave one. So we'd look for a higher low, or sorry, a lower high somewhere towards the end of next week. About about here, about twenty one dollars again. In wave two, and then an acceleration lower in wave three, uh, probably in a couple of weeks, towards December, beginning of December. But anyway, for the moment, I'm looking for five waves down to complete. Um, we'll see how it plays today. Maybe we, maybe we rush lower today and we break uh, 2050. That's the previous internal fourth wave low. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where where my head is at right now with uh, silver. Looking for five waves down to begin uh, wave five down. Okay, let's move into crypto, the most famous crypto. All right, if you've been following these charts for any length of time whatsoever, uh, you will know that uh, short term I'm a bear in crypto, long term I'm a bear in crypto. Um, I just don't, you know, you can try and convince me of the, um, the use value with uh the you know the blockchain or whatever okay it probably has you know some usefulness somewhere maybe it even is in money i'm not, i'm not sure it hasn't really demonstrated it to me just yet uh you know a year ago we were looking at 70,000 and now we're looking at 16,000 uh on bitcoin and i don't think we're done here yet i think we're just correcting slightly sideways here within uh, a wave two of three correction. I'm I'm looking for a real uh, a much bigger decline. Um, back below at least back below ten thousand. Um, as wave three down of five uh, complete. So, looking for five waves down in wave five. We're not anywhere near that yet. So I'll show you the the most recent crash has completed five waves down in wave one of three. So. Uh, it looks like we're, we're, we're consolidating this week mainly around 16,600. So we could have a triangle pattern in play for wave B, possibly, maybe, possibly. Uh, so that would suggest wave A up is done. We're, we're, we're working on wave B right now, so that'll be wave A up. And A, B, C, D, and E. Maybe wave B is done here. Uh, let's say call it, call it about... 16,300 or so. Um, if we move higher today, you know, it's hard to see how that happens also, but if we move higher today, um, this could be a C-wave rally underway. Uh, and if that's the case, then, you know, uh, you know that might see the, the uber bearish, uh, incredibly bearish, let's say, sentiment around um, crypto, let's say, uh, atmosphere it seems to be all up in the atmosphere as far as i can see um the the, the, the crypto world seems to be quite uh, unhinged right now uh so that might actually allow for a rally <laughs> you know strange enough as it is to say that but it could allow for a sea wave rally if that if that comes and we we get a break at 18 200 again i would call that wave c done and a, a second wave lower high done and I'd look lower into wave three if it doesn't happen earlier than that. So uh, I'd watch out. I don't 
you know, this is, it's a pretty volatile place to be putting one's um, hard-earned cash. Anyway, let's move on. It's easy for me to say that. I'm like, the, the guy that had it at the beginning and, and paid five cents for it and it went up to $70,000. I'm sure he's still quite happy or she is quite happy. Uh, FTSE are still looking at that second wave lower high building. Um, are we moving out? It's quite corrective at the moment. It's it's kind of, it's in the same position as, um, let's say, most stock markets right now. Um, we have a possible high in place. And we'll have to see if we start moving lower uh, impulsively off this high. It's a, uh, let's say the action is not, it's it's not pointing, it's not screaming anything out at me just yet uh, for a return into wave three down. But I think that wave three down is coming. Uh, here we go. Let's get on to the NASDAQ. Uh, the NASDAQ has been the, <laughs> funny enough, has been the most um, bearish pattern wise for the last while. Um, we were looking at this second wave correction over the last month <clears throat> and it pretty much traced it out it traced out a second wave correction to a t and now we have weakness off the high of wave two so we've got five waves down in wave one we've got three waves up in wave two even the internal pattern here is pretty darn good <clears throat> here's the hourly count this is the internal pattern of wave two so we've got a b c up in a a b c down in wave b and then one two three possible fourth wave correction and then a spike high to wave five, uh, we'll call that, what did we call that earlier on this week? Uh, let's get a level on that, 1080. Uh, that might, this is a derivative chart, so it might differ slightly from uh, the cash um, the cash chart. You could call the decline off the high, you could call that a wedge. So that might be a leading wedge um, pattern. If that's the case, then we we possibly have a one two off the top, and then we would look for a third wave decline. Um, wave one in pink here should retrace m m most, if not all, of wave B. So you'd be looking at uh, about ten thousand ten thousand six hundred for wave one to complete, and that'd be wave one of three, um, suggesting a, a third wave uh, collapse is coming. Uh, and that'll be a third of a third wave uh, down in the NASDAQ. So technology, look out below, I think. For the moment, anyway, the pattern is suggesting um, the consolidation in wave two is done, and we should probably look lower into a third wave, and maybe we'll get confirmation of that third wave next week. Hey, I think that's the markets done. The bad news has been continued. Let me end with the good news, the good news of salvation. Good news is not religion. Good news is, you might know it as the gospel. That's the the uh, Greek, the Koine Greek term for good news, and that basically says we're all sinners. God cannot have God cannot have um, companionship or relationship with sinners. We cannot be in the presence of the holy God, mighty God, if we are sinners. So we need something to take care of that sin problem. So we're all sinners, including me, every single day, no matter how much I would like to try, or I try. I miss the mark. Sin actually just means mix, missing the mark. You know, you, you, I don't know. You, you might have a negative connotation of sin, but we all miss the mark. You know, that's basically the word sin means missing the mark. It's an, it's an uh, uh, what do you call that? A, an archery term from <laughs> from an ancient archery term to miss the mark miss the bullseye so we do that in our lives we're sinners we miss the mark and we need we cannot have um fellowship with god because of that and we need someone to sort that problem out and god sorted that problem out by introducing the messiah the messiah we know as yeshua mashiach jesus the christ Christ means Christos, anointed one, Messiah. That's what Mashiach means, Messiah. Christ means Messiah. So Jesus from Nazareth, the Messiah, he came, he is the express image of God. That is God incarnate. He came down to earth, lived the perfect life. And just read the Gospels, man. It's all there. Read the Gospel of John and tell me it doesn't, you know, pull on your heartstrings. 
read the Old Testament. It's all over the Old Testament. Read the book of Daniel. He talks about the Messiah. Read the book of Ezekiel. Read, <laughs> it's all there. Read those books, man. They're awesome books. The Messiah came to earth, lived a perfect life. He became the perfect blood sacrifice. He became the perfect propitiation for our sin. The payment for our sin. The payment for your sin. It's a free gift. He gives you that gift. All you have to do is take it. You say, Father God in heaven, yes, I accept your Messiah as a payment of my sin. I, My allegiance goes to you and the Messiah, Yeshua. My allegiance goes to, goes to the Messiah. So you are walking out from under the, the problem of sin and death, and you're walking into the light and the, let's say, eternal life. Because there is only one place for us sinners if we don't accept the Messiah. There's only one place, and that's called hell. And so many of us are just going to walk right in there because we're so arrogant. And that we we believe in our own righteousness. We think, you know, because we give some money to charity, you know, that's going to clean your filthy rags. Oh, good God. <laughs> we just don't understand how separated from God we are. So I would beg, I plead with you. Accept the Messiah. Ask God. That's one question that he's always going to answer. You know, is the Messiah real? Is Jesus really the Messiah? He'll answer you that question. Otherwise, he's not going to hear from you because he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to hear from you if you are not going to accept his, his solution to your problem. <laughs> First, accept the solution. Then move on with relationship. And that's all it is. It's a relationship. It's a relationship with your creator. It's not religion. I never tell anybody to go to church or go to... You know, you can if you want to learn more. But, you know, if you accept the Messiah, the Holy Spirit's going to teach you anyway. So read your Bible. I'm talking to everybody here. I'm talking to Sikhs and Hindus and Muslims and Jews and, and, and Catholics and everyone who's in religion. Time to get out of religion. Mystery Babylon. Get out of it. It's time for relationship. And the door is open for you for a little while longer. I don't know how much longer. But the door is there. This is not a business proposition for me. I would probably be doing a whole lot better. My business would be doing a whole lot better if I didn't do this. But this is the position that God has put me in. And I am reaching out to the community that listens to these um, these web broadcasts, these YouTube videos. Um, you're listening to me. If you're still here, this message is for you. So, uh, you know, calamity is coming. Get safe. Get on the lifeboat. And that's the way we'll end this video until next week or tonight. If you want to join the website, I'll be on tonight. All right. God bless. See you next week. Bye-bye.